and the results are N. The contestants have been battling it out for three days and the results are N. Today we get to find out who you, the viewers, voted to be the first ever Battle of the Bartenders champions. But before we get to that, today we brought in a couple of viewers to taste the cocktails that got the most likes on Instagram. They are two loyal, thirsty fan members who have been following the competition closely from the start. One of them is an experienced bartender and the other is a professional drinker. The first cocktail they're gonna be sipping on is the Maui Waui by our Southern gentleman, Maui. Mm. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. So what do you think about this drink? It looks tropical. So I definitely envision myself drinking this like on vacation, you know, just relaxing. It definitely tastes like summer and candy. I'm about it. It's good. So Callie, if you didn't know, we're using the strawberry lime rimming salt by Twang in this drink. Oh my god, this salt tastes just like a strawberry ring pop, which was one of my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> okay. Don't let anything go to waste. The next cocktail they're going to be tasting is by Juan from Top Notch Mixers, and he brought that Miami heat. Let's heat these contestants up with that chili chili twang bang. Ooh. Ooh. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Here we go again, Cheers. Kelly. Cheers. Just careful Let's with that. Let's take a salt. peek at this beautiful cocktail. It's a very nice presentation. I like the garnishes and the salt. I love some mezcal. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yes. It is very spicy. Oh, I like that. Like, I want it for dinner. The smokiness makes me think that I want a bacon burger with this <gasps> yeah. or something. Like, or like. I just want to go to like <sighs> Wendy's and get a bacon here. No, you don't need a Wendy's. This is hot class, okay? Mmm. These are my flavors the cucumber and the mezcal. We're just killing it right here. I love this. And then the, the salt that we use, oh, chili lime. Yeah, I love that. It's all, it's all right there together. Ooh. Great mix. Great job. Two stop. thumbs up. Mm. The next cocktail they'll be tasting is called the Pineapple Express. It was crafted by Miami Sweetheart, Tony. Now you're going to be trying the Pineapple Express. Oh, like the movie. Ooh. Yellow. It was all yellow. <laughs> Okay. Yellow, mellow. <laughs> I like the yellow. Makes me feel very bright and happy. A happy face, an emoji. All those good things that 2020 juicy. does not have. But I feel like we're gonna feel better now. I like it, okay. Mm. Mm. Got some salt on my lip. Again, you know? Yeah, again. Like a bath and body work lotion, you know? I like your description. But the one that you can drink and get lit with. This one is brought to you by the Lemon Lime Rimming Salt by Twin. Look at the cute seahorse. Oh, there is a seahorse with a lemon. Yay. Zoom in, cameraman. The next cocktail will give our viewers a watermelon sugar high. This cocktail is by Miles and it's called the Watermelon Sugar High. This is the Watermelon sugar, hi! Oh. <laughs> Not by Harry Styles, by Thirsty Bartenders. Okay, Wait, honestly, I really want to like analyze this. The contrasting colors, they're so pretty. Who's the creator? Spanish cocktails. Looks really good, delish. Got, Can't wait to taste it. Got, wait, pasta straw me, please. Pasta straw me. Yes. Smells like watermelon, I'm a fan. Ooh, it's smooth. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that tastes a little basil-y. Mm, that's good. Mm, the salt and nothing else. It's very refreshing. What is the salt? The lemon the rind again? <laughs> Basically, I really like it, but it's, it's just very light and easy, which is dangerous. Yeah, again, I'm this is a it. drink that I can see myself, you know, watching the pool boy clean the pool and enjoying okay. this. Mm. Definitely 2021 vibes. Mm. Okay. Mm. The next cocktail they'll be tasting is by Mike Cabrera and it's called the Salty Grapefruit French 75. Bon appetit, viewers. Now you guys are going to be trying the Salty Grapefruit French 75. That's a long Thank name. You. But cheers. Well, cheers, here we are. Let's cheers. talk about it. 
Oh, Making some citrus notes. Very. <laughs> <At this. laughs> some grapefruit tea salt. I feel that I'm actually losing weight while sniffing this because it smells like grapefruit, right? Is that the name of it? I already forgot, didn't it? It's definitely grapefruit salt. I like it though. Okay, so should we just go for it? Let's go for it. Okay. Okay. A ginny. Oh, there's gin in this? Yeah, that's gin, boo. Okay. You like now? He like. Let's go. I like it. I like it. I like it too. Two thumbs up. I'm feeling like the little beer vibe in it. Here for this. So this one is the grapefruit rimming salt. Paloma love. Do you love it? I don't normally like grapefruit, but I actually love this salt. Like seriously. What do you think? Again, it just tastes good to me. Okay, my mouth is watering just from watching that tasting. They all looked amazing. I wonder which one they're gonna be voting for. It's gonna be hard. The drink that made me the thirstiest was Chili Chili Twang Bang. That shit was fire. So many flavors, all of my flavors. I like cucumber, I like smoky, I like tequila. I want more of that, please. Okay. I'm gonna have to say no on that, sis, but I will like the first drink, the Maui Wally, because it did wow my taste buds. The polls are closed. A huge thank you to Twang, the contestants, and all of the people that voted. We have the winners here today. Guess what? Wow. You were one of the winners! Woo! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> oh, let's go! Woo! This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. To the people that voted, you guys rock. I appreciate the heck out of you. Thanks to you, you know what I'm saying? You guys made it happen to Twain. All you guys, everybody a part of this, you know, it was, it was fun. So many people, you know, came together and voted. But thank you for the opportunity and for showcasing the craft on your platform, honestly. It was a really great competition and we got to see a lot of different, like, takes on what the salt could do with everybody from, from different states and everything. It was really cool. It was a great competition. I hope they do more of them. Yeah, the salts were amazing. I mean, uh, the quality of it was amazing. The taste, unreal. Twang. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Phenomenal products. I have nothing but good things to say. They're made with a lot of quality ingredients. Like we were reading the labels and we we're like, wow, there's actually like nothing processed in this. This is this is awesome. Like they're using real ingredients and it comes out super flavorful and it makes a great addition to the cocktails. Thank you for taking you. time off of work to chat with us. I know you're busy. Go make that money. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, y'all made my day. All three of the Battle of Bartender champions are receiving a hefty supply of Twang salts plus $150 of hard cash. Thank you to all the contestants for creating all of those delicious cocktails. And if you think you can be the next champion of Battle of the Bartenders, comment below. <laughs> but there is a twist. According to the polls, Mike and Tony are tied in first place with the same percentage, but what you don't know is we have the actual vote count and one of them came in first by four votes. First place of the Battle of the Bartenders first ever competition goes to... Mike Cabrera. <laughs> so how do you feel about winning, Mike Cabrera? Oh, you know, it's like been really fun. Um, thank you to all my fans. I love you guys. I'm gonna be salty for life. Yeah.